Welcome to the ACMA Power User Dashboard Tour. As a power user, you will have the ability to monitor the interactions of your team and its members. So let's start your journey with the Administration menu. The Admin menu is accessible by tapping the gear icon here in the upper right corner of your screen. Once there, you will see the Admin eLearning menu. So let's get walk through. First, the admin dashboard is the visual of your entire team. This screen enables you to see a visual report of what is happening in your team. You can sort your findings by date, specifically, or last month, this month, or from the beginning. From this page, I can also download various reports based on my team's performance as a whole. I can also view any alerts that might need my attention. The recent activities shows me information that is specific to my team's performance, including the number of sessions and courses completed and enrollments, all available in the form of a line graph, as well as a comparative analysis. Going further down, we see the course and learner status. The course and learner status shows us two bits of information. First of all, the first circle shows us how many courses are active. Currently, we have 99% active with one under maintenance, which means that someone at the ACMA is working to make the course better for you, and it will return to online as soon as possible. The other course status is more specific to your learners. Now, this can be a little bit deceiving, because if you notice, we have a 44% not yet started. The thing to understand with the ACMA courses is that many people enroll in multiple courses at the same time. However, most people will only actually start one course at a time. So they may be enrolled in 10 courses, but only started one, which would mean that there are nine courses that have not yet started. So for this particular team, we have 44% not yet started, 18% in progress, and 38% completed. We can also go over here and view some statistics that help us as a team leader. These involve course popularity. So these are the most popular courses for this particular team. As a power user, the information will be useful to you to better understand if your team is purposely passing over courses, which might indicate a need for more education. The admin menu also includes the report section, which can be accessed here. Under the report section, we have user personal summary and course summary. To use user personal summary, you can go into here, into this box, and type in one of your user's names. The box will automatically populate with the name, tap on it, and it will take you to a page that is similar to what the user sees when they do their own page. This screen is actually identical to what they have access to. And so you can go through and look at how this individual learner is doing. You can also print or download. You can also go to new reports and do course summary. This is an opportunity for you to look at a course specifically. So if I look at the opioid crisis course that's offered, we have 100% with one enrolled. And I can look and see how many people are enrolled in it. Currently only one user is enrolled in that particular course. I can also go to the course dashboard. Now the course dashboard gives me some participation information at a glance. So first of all, it tells me that I have 321 courses. Of the 321, it shows me each individual course and how many people have completed it. This is the percentage of course statuses by month, which shows me how popular and that the courses have been and how much people have worked to finish them. And then I can go down here and look at each course individually. I can also download this as an XLS or a PDF. Now finally, the background jobs and settings. If I've decided to download a report, it will show up here in background jobs. Once it's completed, it will give me a notification that tells me that my job has been completed and is ready to print. But in the meantime, I can work on other things on my computer while I wait for that.
Now back to the main board. There are a couple shortcuts that you have available to you. So first of all, we have this user management, which takes us to the list of individuals that are enrolled in the course. You can search out an individual by entering their name in the search box. Once here, you can click on these three dots to see that user personal summary that I showed you earlier. So it's just a different way to access the same information. The other option that you have on this page is you can use the go to reports, which will generate the reports that we spoke about earlier. And you can either do personal reports or course summary reports. And that is it for the Power User Dashboard. You are now ready to help lead your team to success by being their ACMA Power User. Thank you so much for your time.